Today marks the 80th anniversary of one of the most controversial moments of the Second World War. On February 15, 1944, Allied forces bombed a Catholic monastery in Italy. Now the Benedictine community at Monte Cassino is commemorating the day and shedding light on what happened. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser has more. Certainly, qui non c'erano tedeschi. Certainly, there were no Germans here. So there was no German army presence to justify the bombing. It was a strategic mistake because the Germans arrived afterwards and used the ruins to barricade themselves here. Beyond the historical aspect of the destruction, there were no victims among the monks. However, there were victims among the civilians because believing that the abbey was a safe place to hide, the abbot at that time, Abbot Gregorio di Amare, had opened the doors of the monastery to provide refuge to the civilians. Eighty years after its destruction in the Second World War, the reconstructed Benedictine Abbey of Monte Cassino in central Italy stands as a timeless testament to the enduring legacy of its founder, St. Benedict, the father of Western monasticism. Throughout the centuries, the Abbey suffered several destructions, the most notable of which occurred during the Second World War. On the morning of February 15, 1944, the U.S. Allied forces bombed the Abbey an historic event that is being commemorated today by the Abbey's Benedictine community. Founded in 529 by St. Benedict, the Abbey is the oldest monastery in Italy and its destruction became one of the most controversial events of the war. Obviously, this attack also entailed a destruction of a significant cultural heritage, although much of it, at least what regards the material kept in the archives was saved thanks to the work of German priests. It was all taken to Rome and in this way saved. Other things, however, were inevitably lost, such as the frescoes in the church. But somewhat miraculously, the burial place of St. Benedict and St. Scholastica was also saved because of a grenade that fell there did not explode. After the war, the Abbey of Monte Cassino was rebuilt as close to the original as possible. In October 1964, Pope St. Paul VI personally consecrated again the reconstructed Cathedral Basilica and proclaimed St. Benedict, promoter of unity and messenger of peace, the main patron saint of Europe. This year, the Abbey will celebrate the 60th anniversary of his proclamation. St. Benedict is known for the famous motto, Ora et Labora. And I think that St. Benedict testifies to the importance of a unified and harmonious life. It isn't for no reason, then, that the Benedictine motto is Pax, peace, and that Benedict was proclaimed precisely the patron saint of Europe with a bull describing him as a messenger of peace. After all, St. Benedict shows us that we can be signs and instruments of peace in history and in relation to others, provided that we are first able to find a peace and inner harmony within ourselves. In Rome, Andres Townhouse and Matteo Cioffi, EWTN News Nightly.